Chapter 6, Critical Hazards, objective is to identify and correct a class of hazards that usually cannot be ignored. The first circuit of this chapter is a simple DLAT circuit. We use this circuit to show a setup violation that causes a much bigger hazard. Run the circuit and select yes to the warning message and view the waveform. A persistent hazard is present. This can cause an incorrect state to be latched into an internal circuit or one that is passed on a pri to a primary circuit output. In the second circuit, a combination of AND gates and a port are connected to a stimulus generator and another form of a persistent hazard is shown. We want to run the circuit in worst case mode so that we can view this hazard. This type of hazard is caused by the port. 
a warning hazard becomes a persistent hazard if it has passed onto other circuits by way of this port. In the third circuit, we replace the port with a D latch and change the stem values. Again, run this circuit in worst case mode. Plot the persistent hazard. The upper plot displays a persistent hazard at 60 nanoseconds because an ambiguity state was present at the data input to the flip-flop when the clock went active high. As a result, an unknown value was latched into the flip-flop and its output went undetermined at 67 nanoseconds. This could cause a serious malfunction in the overall circuit. The lower plot shows us that the cause of the persistent hazard was the ambiguity convergence hazard at the output of the AND gate array at 49.8 nanoseconds. This concludes our discussion on Chapter 6, Critical Hazards.